Hello, we're in Medora, North Dakota. Join us as we go exploring. We take in all the eats, treats, entertainment, history, culture, and the beautiful landscapes. Welcome to Theodore Roosevelt National Park. This uh, area is also known as the North Dakota Badlands. And did you know there is a South Dakota Badlands? There are actually Badlands in several different places. And they all are referring to really similar environments. There are environments that have been weathered and, and weathering is breaking up of rocks and eroded and erosion is movement. So badlands are created by weathering and erosion and called bad or land bad by the indigenous people because it's so difficult to traverse. I mean, you're going across prairie, everything's great. There's the grasslands, there's wonderful wildlife and then you get to this area where all of a sudden it's really steep and it can be rocky and it can be slippery and there's loose soil so no longer that nice easy prairie to cross so you've come into some land that's bad but they're beautiful that whole erosion it's just stunning it reveals layers of old volcanic ash uh, it, you see layers of coal, literally coal seams are visible from this used to be a swampy area. And over time, all of that swampy material gets compressed. That organic material eventually becomes coal. So you see seams of that. We also have thunderstorms. Thunderstorms, lightning hitting coal. Well, guess what happens? You get a fire. So the coal seams can catch on fire and they can literally bake the rock around them. And then you get strips of red rock that is baked rock that will be referred to as scoria. They're just so beautiful because of all the layers and the topography. It's, it's just kind of stunning to move from one place to the other and see all these changes. The park is actually divided into three units, North, South, and Elkhorn. They're not contiguous. You have to drive outside one to get to the other. And Monahay Trail is a nonprofit group that maintains a trail. It's approximately 144 miles trail. And people do all sorts of things. They'll walk the trail. It's really popular for mountain biking. <clears throat> you can horseback ride on the trail. There are campsites, wide variety. You can do the whole thing or just a little piece. It's, it's a really popular trail. We do have the main visitor center in the south unit of the park, and that's in the town of Medora. The whole reason for the park's establishment was Theodore Roosevelt. So Theodore Roosevelt came to the Dakotas in the mid to 1880s, and he came to hunt bison the first time. And he bought a ranch called the Maltese Cross Ranch. And that actual cabin, that actual ranch building that he bought is located directly behind the South Unit Visitor Center. That was his first experience. About a year later, his wife and his mother die on the same day. He's devastated. He remembers the Dakotas. He remembers the Medora area and he comes back, comes to Medora. It's too busy for him. There must be almost 60 people in that town. So he travels a little further north, about 34 miles, and he creates the Elkhorn Ranch. So the Elkhorn Ranch is part of Theodore Roosevelt National Park. And that's where he ranched for about three years. He went back to New York kept his ranch for about nine years, but then eventually sold it. He said it was the Dakota territory and being in the Dakotas that formed his preservation, his conservation ethic. It formed his whole presidential idea of conservation. So this is the only national park site that is named for a person, the N.R. Roosevelt National Park. So certainly a reason to commemorate the site that moved him to a conservation ethic. 